Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Chanel unboxing for you. I finally got a bag that has been on my wish list for a while. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know what bag this is because I have posted it so many times with polls asking, should I get it? Should I get this instead? And I finally did it. Here it is. So before I open it, take a guess, write down what you think I got. And you were probably right if you follow me. I've even posted it in my YouTube community page asking your thoughts <laughs> because I wanted this for so long. So here is the box and to be honest, I have already opened it, but I'll include the video of me, you know, actually unboxing it for the first time. This is the packaging. Okay, here it is. And I will not bore you with all of the wrapping. This thing was wrapped up to oblivion, but I got the Chanel 19 from the 22P collection in the iridescent pink. I can't capture this color in real life. It's like a chameleon. It changes in every single lighting and every situation. Oh my gosh, oh, it's so pretty, okay. So let me tell you about this bag. Here is the tag, if you're curious. And the price for new Chanel bags, I don't even want to get into it, but here is the price, okay? Yeah, that's the price. But in my defense, I got this from my Chanel SA in Nordstrom. And so I always get double points. I redeem, you know, gift cards. I have Nordstrom notes. That's how I help ease the pain of the new Chanel current retail price. Um, I think the prices are even going up or they have gone up recently. It's just crazy, but oh, how pretty. Okay, so I had the Chanel 19 on my wish list for a long time. And I just, I don't know, you guys, I couldn't decide. I didn't want another black Chanel bag. And I considered getting this last year in the iridescent pearl white color. And then I thought about it for a long time and I just passed because I was like, you know, I'm not going to get as much wear out of it as I want. I just, I don't know, I just didn't do it. So I decided to get this. I was also considering the iridescent purple that was a lot more popular from the 22P collection. I passed on that because it was very cool tone and the hardware on the front was silver and the hardware on the CC flap was that same iridescent purple with silver hardware. And I just thought that I prefer gold. I just love the yellow gold classic Chanel hardware. I don't know. I just, I prefer that over the silver and overall the iridescent purple I thought was way too similar to my iridescent cocoa handle that I got last year. So this is my beautiful cocoa handle in the iridescent blue, I think. I mean, this color is so stunning and I love that the hardware was like a rainbow silver. So I thought the 22P iridescent purple in the 19, I'll throw pictures up, was too similar, which is fine, but I decided I needed to get this. Last year, the caramel color was really popular and I really don't have any beige or brown Chanel bags. I have all black bags and I have a denim bag and then I have the iridescent blue. So I just thought this would match so many more things. There's the back. I love the back pocket for my cell phone. I love that it has the mixed hardware. So you have the yellow gold on the front. So it has this really pretty, like a tarnished antique yellow gold in the front. And then on the sides, it has this really polished silvery is it ruffinium hardware? And then it goes back again to the yellow gold and then back to silver, but in like an antique finish. <laughs> Even the handle is so pretty. I like that the Chanel 19 has this leather strap so that the chains aren't digging into your shoulder. And then I like that it has this top handle. <gasps> I don't think I've ever gotten two items, like two bags from one Chanel collection. And I use the term bags loosely in quotes because if you watch my recent unboxing, I bought the nylon travel set, which is right here. So this was the travel set that came with a sleep mask, but I added this chain strap to make it a crossbody. And I have been using this and loving it. And 
I love this. I love this little crossbody. This collection was really controversial because it's nylon and it's, you know, kind of overpriced for nylon, but in general, I mean, Chanel is overpriced. So, I mean, what do you really expect? But <laughs> so I've been using this and I really like it. I was looking at the nylon travel bags, but they're way overpriced. They had the nylon tote bag that was 5,100 and then the nylon travel huge bowling duffel bag that was something like 60, 6,000. So, I mean, at least, you know, this is leather. This is the Chanel 19. This I know I will get tons of use. I can capture this color. It's so pretty. I need to do a side by side of this and my cocoa handle in the sunlight. So officially this is pink. I, when I was showing pictures of it, I was calling it the iridescent beige gold, but it's actually pink technically. Okay, let me open it up for you. You have the same color on the inside. And when it's open, it has this really pretty pink lining. And I think with the lining, you can tell that this really does kind of shift pink. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, just one little zip pocket. And then the bigger compartment here. This bag is kind of heavy <laughs> because the chains make it so heavy, but I just, I love this look. Okay, I'll try it on for you guys. I just think this color is so pretty against an all black outfit. It just pops against it. Okay, so this is how I'd wear it just over my arm. So yeah, I would mostly wear it as a crossbody though. I just love having my hands free and that is the reason that I got this bag. This is it as a crossbody. And I mean, it's a pretty good length. I'm pretty short. I'm only five feet tall. I'm not even five one, but this hits me exactly pretty much where I want it to. I usually wear it in the front. So here's my phone. I would just slip this in my pocket there. And oh, don't you think every crossbody bag or every bag in general should have a slip pocket for your cell phone? Because that's what you're always grabbing for, you know? And then this way you don't have to deal with the turn lock when you just want to grab your phone. So because this is kind of an unstructured bag, you know, it's a little supple and soft, it's easy and very comfortable to wear. But when it's empty, you really have to make sure the turn lock is in its right place. So you're not fumbling around with the hardware. So yeah, this is it as a shoulder bag. And for me, again, I'm very short. It's a little too long for me. I don't know if I can pull off this look. I mean, if I'm just kind of running around, I guess, but. I probably wouldn't wear it this way. I love when it has this top handle because when you're wearing it as a crossbody, it's a lot easier to remove it, especially if you have long hair like me, you're always just kind of like, your hair is getting tangled up in the chain. <laughs> so when you have this top handle, you can just kind of grab it and then I can hold the chain away from my hair and then pull it off really easily. And my phone is still in the back there. How cute, oh, I love this bag. I love this color, I can't wait to use it. You guys, I just finally booked a vacation after I don't even know how many years it's been. My husband and I have not gone on a vacation, just the two of us. I finally booked vacation, I can't wait, and I'm thinking of bringing this with me, we'll see. We're going to the Caribbean, <laughs> so maybe I won't bring this because I'm not really going anywhere. Ah, oh, so pretty. So I can finally cross this bag off my wish list, the Chanel 19 in the iridescent pink from the 22P collection. I think I'm pretty much done shopping the Chanel 22P collection. You know, two bags is enough for me, even though the one bag is technically an SLG that I just converted. But let me know what you think of this bag. If you have the Chanel 19 in another color, if you have any tips or tricks for keeping the color safe from color transfer. Obviously I won't wear this with dark denim, but oh my God, I can't wait to use this. And I also have really been loving my Chanel travel set that I've been wearing as a crossbody. Let me know what else you like from the 22P collection. And if you plan on picking anything up, I think I am done shopping this collection for now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who voted in all the polls that I put up regarding this bag. <laughs> you really helped me make my decision. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.